you tonight from Toronto, Ontario. You can feel the optimism in this city. After Saturday's game one performance by the home team, Toronto steamrolled. And this is the conference semifinals of the NBA playoffs on TNT. It's presented by AT&T. Game two from Scotiabank Arena, Toronto and Philadelphia, the Raptors in front. One game to none. Lowry pushing the tempo. Stutter step to the rim. Denied by Butler. A quick jack. Kyle Lowry. I think it was Siakam. Oh, Siakam from that, that side. 4-2 lead for Toronto. Embiid, contact with Lowry. Kick it out. Butler nails it from the corner. It's a triple. Well, we sat down with Nick Nurse, asked him about what he expected from Philadelphia. And he felt that they were going to try to stuff it down their throats with Embiid and Simmons and try to get Reddick going early. It's Butler. Rainbow three. Jimmy Butler puts Philadelphia up by one. I mean, it starts with Kenny get deep. And, you know, that comes with either rolling, maybe some rim runs. But how close can we get him uh, to the basket? Mark is such a great defensive player, it's difficult to do that. But we'll continue to try to play through Joel. MB forced to kick it out. Butler, count it! Three and the foul, Jimmy Danny, Butler! And Danny Green just picked up the tech, didn't like the call. And we've uh, had a lot of controversy about plays like this thus far here in the postseason on three-point field goal defense. Just a little. I thought on that one that Danny Green was fine. I don't think he, because you look at the legs go forward, you see Danny didn't come into his space. Danny was still inside the three-point line. So just by virtue of that, now you got to give him a foot to come down so you could argue possibly that that was the right call. But I, I, I would be upset as a defender there. But I'd be happy as hell if I was an offensive player. <laughs> Where'd you fall on the Harden call or uh, no call? Well, I didn't think that. I thought Draymond's play at the end was clearly the right call. I didn't think he fouled him. 13-2 run for the Raptors. Gasol, the drop step. Fine, see, up from the lays it in. And partner, we talked about it. Would they take advantage of that matchup with Tobias Harris on Mark Gasol? It's not just for his ability to score. It's also... The opportunities he can create for his teammates as Jimmy Butler silences the crowd with that mid-range. And Butler now with 15 points. He's the high man for Philadelphia. Nine on the timer. Butler. He got punched up in the area. Monroe rolls to the rim and scores. Well, we had him in the first round against the Nets. He really struggled to finish. Doing a much better job here against the Raptors. Butler handles it with Simmons on the bench. Butler turns the corner. And a foul. Jimmy Butler, a tough bucket. Well, that was a great read there. Lowry fires. Short on a three ball. And Butler's got the board. Shovels. Simmons right down the middle for two. Another strong cut there. And again, attacking early in transition. Not waiting for Toronto to set their defense. And Nick Nurse right now looking for answers. Butler out of the double team. Hangs. And he draws the foul. And that was just a, a veteran move by Jimmy Butler. What he did is he used Marc Gasol as a screener. Even though Marc Gasol was coming down a double team, he actually used Gasol to block Danny Green to turn the corner and force the foul. Green corner jump. Rebounded by Butler is 11th. I guarantee you if that goes. Butler, that goes. And the foul. If that three had gone, I guarantee you Embiid was checking into the game. And just like that now, I can exhale if you're Brett Brown because Jimmy Butler, you talked about bouncing back after the disappointment of game one. He has come out with focus and that competitive spirit you have to have in the postseason. The fourth foul on Siakam. Jimmy Butler is six of six at the free throw line. Off the high screen. Leonard drives. Embiid is there for the board. Great job on the contest by Joel. Butler. Jimmy Buckets on the inside. And that's such a smart play. You see the struggles Philly having right now in the half court. And Butler recognizing that, looking for the opportunity in transition. 25 for Butler. Siakam checks the feet. Bucket for three. Embiid with Siakam helping. Trying to work through two defenders. Finds Butler. Oh, Jimmy Butler, bullseye. 
28 for Butler. Leonard kicks it out, Siakam. Drive and kick for Lowry, three on the way. He cans it! They won't go away. Toronto, Butler knocked away, and Gasol called for the foul. Wow. Still time left, but credit Philly. They have withstood everything Toronto's thrown at them here thus far in the second half. 30 points for Jimmy Butler. 90 to 84, Philadelphia. Leonard makes the quick move. Kick it out. Lowry. Yes! Kyle Lowry from downtown. Tobias Harris tries to get it inside. Knocked away from Simmons. Lowry's got it with a minute 15 to go. Siakam floats it up. No. Rebound. Siakam lays it in. It's a one-point game with 46 seconds left on the clock. Butler, eight to shoot. Leans in on Green. Embiid, a ball fake. Embiid spins to the rim. A ball fake. Embiid gets the bucket. A big one for the 76ers. Green watched by Harris. You don't need three here. Plenty of time to get with the attack. Oh, Lowry trying to put it through Harris's leg. Saves it for Leonard. Leonard gives it up. Green for the tie. Off the rim. Gasol. Keeps it alive, knocked around. Harris has got it for Philadelphia, they have to foul. And they do with 3.8, Philadelphia up by three, will go to the free throw line.